All right, so before we go for the notifications, let's just um, program this thing. So when I click on this, it switches between bye and hello, all right, without passing any props. That is the point, right? No props, only context. Awesome. So instead of doing all this bullshit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do constructor, all right? Props, this is what happens, super, super, props, all right. And here, this state message, hello, all right. So this is this still should work. Yeah, same thing, all right. Now, the thing with this is, I want to make a function that changes the state, and I want to put it in the provider, so I can call it from the notification, all right. Now, I tried to do it here, like create a function, blah, 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 and then put it on the state, but it didn't work. And I, I, I got stuck a little bit, and what I found out is that you need to put it everything on the constructor, because it's when the class is created, the store gets the value, the provider. It's a weird shit, weird shit. But anyways, you need to put the functions that you want to change, the, the functions, sorry, the functions that you want to include in your store, the provider should be in the constructor. Let's do it again. The, the functions that you want to include in your provider to be consumed later by your consumer should be on the constructor. Perfect. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function, I don't know, bullshit function. It could be, uh, I don't know, change. Let's do this change message right it's not relevant okay and now here i will check if the message is um hello i put bye bye this oh i say if uh, this that state that message equals Hello, this set state. Message by by. One more here. Else, this set state. Message. Hello. All right. Am I good? Perfect. And now I am going to put this into my change message. So I'm going to say change message of the state is the function change message. All right. That's it. So whenever I call change message from any provider, any consumer, sorry, when I call change message from any consumer is going to call this function that is here. Okay, let's test it. So now what I want to do is that I want to change the button on click, all right? I want to change the on click from here. So all I have to do is I have to open one more store, consumer. Okay. And now what this will should have, it should have a function as a child. And the first argument is the store, all right? And I will return the button. All right, and the on click will be store dot change message. As you can see, I'm passing the function all the way down to the notification presenter button. All right, so let's see. Change message is not defined. What? Change message is not defined. Where? Line eight. No. There we go. All right, so if I click this one, it should change it. Let's see, click, bye-bye, click, hello, click, bye-bye, click, hello. So as you can see, we are calling a function from the app container, all right? A function of the app container, we're calling it from the consumer, all right? Here it is, all right? Just remember that you always have to put a, a function as a child of consumer. And on the function, he's going to inject the whole store for you. And the store is right here. This one. This is the state. There it is. Super easy. All right. I hope you got it by now. 
I really hope so. If you don't, we still have one more exercise where we create notifications and stuff. All right, so for now, that's it. See you soon. Bye-bye.